The laboratory directed research and development program here at Livermore is so vital because it is the dominant driving force that allows us to continually reinvent ourselves as an institution. It ensures that we have the means to maintain our agility and our vitality as a science and technology institution. And it provides the mechanism by which we can fund very important science, technology, and engineering work here at the laboratory that goes well beyond what's being funded within programmatic activities currently. And if you look across the 25 years that it's been in existence, there are numerous examples here at Livermore where inventions or innovations have made their way into significant mission impacts. One of the examples of uh, LDRD project that's uh, really been successful is one run by one of our scientists, Felicia Albert, who has a project focused on generating x-rays using uh, laser wake field acceleration. This allows you to generate bright x-ray bursts that can be used to image uh, materials and understand material properties uh, in very high energy density experiments. And the most important part about it is that it allows you to generate these x-ray bursts without the need for having a particle accelerator which significantly reduces the footprint for the equipment that you need in order to do that. So another example of a project, and again this is a lab-wide example, is a project run by Maxim Shustev. Um, his project is aimed at bringing viral culture into the present. Uh, viral culture techniques have been static for many, many, uh, many, many years. Uh, and he's developing a flow-through system that allows you to introduce cells and viruses in known quantities uh, and control the viral infection uh, rate and that will help understand how viruses evolve uh, over time which is something that was very difficult with traditional viral culture techniques. The LDRD program gives us the opportunity as an institution to lift our eyes to the horizon survey the landscape, understand what's coming next, and anticipate future challenges. It provides the resource, resources we need to meet those challenges, and most importantly, it gives us the opportunity to develop the people, the teams, and the technologies that we will need in the future to meet the needs of the country.